how much money do I actually make as a eBay reseller who also happens to be a teenager? That's a question I get a lot. In today's video, I'm going to be answering it. We're going to go through some high sales, some low sales, and go through some items we managed to purchase throughout the week. And at the very end, we're going to go through a big breakdown and really see how much money profit I get that will go straight to me at the end of the day. Let's jump straight into it. First of all, I'm going to take you guys through some of the items I've sourced and how much I'm actually going to make off these. Then I'm going to go through some items I actually sold this week. And then at the very end, take you guys through how much I've actually sold this week and how much profit I'll end up making. That I'm going through these. I'm putting some to the right here to see. I actually don't know exactly how much these are worth, so I put them to the right. And everything I know for certain, I've put on that left stack there where that left for dead is. I know Halo 3 is not a great game. Gears of War is not going for much. This Walking Dead here was one that I was very interested in. And also a couple ones here. Need for Speed, another one. And I will go through everything right now in front of you guys and show you how much they're worth. So I've got my stack of games that we picked up here. First off, we have Dragon Ball Z oh, Raging Blast complete here. The only thing that's missing is it's supposed to have a little sleeve over here. Um, there's one listed for $60 with the sleeve, and I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to sell that one for $40. We have Skate 2 here. I don't know if we're profiting a huge amount off this. I thought it said 5 not 8 Hey, it is what it is. I'll put a comp up here of what it's going for. I'll move to the side a bit to give room for that comp. Um, Combat Evolved here. I think it's going for like $13. For 3 bucks into it. It's complete with manual, so I might even be able to push a little bit more, just because it is in such good condition. I know Left 4 Dead is an absolutely amazing game to sell right now, and I'm always looking for it. This is a major, like, I, I don't know if it's going, I'm not saying it's like a $300 game or something, but it's still like a good 20 to 25 bucks, I'm pretty sure, and it sells very fast for me. Transformers Full of Cy Cybertron here, 10 bucks, but I'm pretty certain that it's going for $30, maybe even a bit more. Um, Walking Dead, 3 bucks into it, easy 15 not huge profits here. Um, same with this one, 10, I think I've turned it around 25. Um, I know where you're going to go up a fair bit, and this one is for my collection. It's a condition upgrade for my last one that I have five bucks into, so that's all right. Um, another Transformers game, uh, 10 bucks as well, and that one's looking for around that $30 mark as well, I believe. Future Armor here is a good one. All US viewers, um, yes, I know that your one is worth a ton. Our one is worth around 20 bucks. Your one is worth over 100, I believe. Um, I wish our one was as well, because I find that game all the time. So if it was, then I'd be a very, very rich man, or boy, teenager, whatever you want to call me. I'm fine with it. Um, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, two bucks into it. I believe that one's gone for around 12. So overall, really not that bad at all. And quickly, bring you guys over. Sorry for my hand. There. Game of Thrones, got this set here. Not bad, paid five bucks, should be able to get 40 for it. Um. And then I'm going to take you guys through the rest of the stuff we picked up throughout the day. Might as well bring you with me here. Um, sorry, I'm filming with my phone. Quality is not going to be amazing. All right, here we go. So we have the Sigma lens here. Um, wh when you're looking these up, I haven't looked this up. I just knew that it was cheap enough that I would make money. Um, 18 to 50 mil is what you want to look up. So you want to write Sigma. You don't have to write the zoom. Just Sigma 18 to 50 millimeter. And then make sure that the listing, you don't even have to write this in, just make sure the listing or the photos in, um, include this, because that's quite important, the 1 to 2.8. Uh, a lot of the time it'll say F slash 2.8 or F slash 2 to 8. So um, that is always a good sign when you can find a nice Sigma lens. These go for super, super decent money. Um, I have to look it up because I'm not completely sure about that one in specific, but I know some of them go for a lot. I don't know if that's one of them exactly. We also got this, um, I believe it's a teleconverter here for the Nikon. And uh, these ones actually do really well for me. I get around 30 bucks at least for these. I'll look this one up, could be a bit less, could be a bit more. We'll have to see, I'll put comps up for both items up here. Hopefully they did well. I also got this pair of ASICs and I'm doing less shoes, but I didn't have much stock. And they're in good condition, I paid 15 bucks. Should turn them into 50 or 60 pretty quick. So I'll take you guys through some of my sales. Um, this is a good one here, um, this Panasonic camera. We picked it up at the flea market for only $2, two dollars, it says. That's very good. I didn't realise. I thought it was 5 but I've read down as 2 so it must be correct. Um, we have this camera here, and it has gone on to sell for $110. I put it up here, 
And uh, this one is great uh, within Australia one, which is good. Um, always good when you can get those international sales, but they're a bit more difficult to post, but also you profit a little bit off the postage. So it's worth it. We have this little mini dictaphone here. I'm doing well off these. This one's turned into $50 and I only paid 15 for it. So there'll be some profit in that for sure. We have a Nintendo DS Lite here. I've taken a little bit of a lower offer than normal. It's in good condition, it has no charger, and it has the wrong stylus. So I've taken 56 bucks on that. Normally push around 65 to 70 on those normally, I believe. But hey, it is what it is. We actually had this vintage Taron Aux lens pack. I've um, got this in a bulk lot. Sold it for 35 and we've got a little message saying, thanks, Flipper. So I assume that's a viewer of the channel. Let me know down below if that's you. Um, Thank you for that purchase, my friend. Um, we have this lot of camcorder cassettes. These are sealed. I've been selling them in lots of three. I've had these up for a while, but they're generally selling about once every two weeks for $43, and I have $2 into all of them, and I had eight, I think I had, I have 18 left, and I had 30 overall. So they're not selling amazingly quick, as I said, but for two dollars into them, I'm sort of happy to take offers. This one sold for full asking price of forty-three dollars, and I've made my money back a few times. So this is all profit. We've also got um, a camera here, a Canon EOS camera that sold fifty dollars. That's a good one. And uh, we had a DVD set selling for seventy. That was great purchase. We have this Kodak um, Brownie six twenty. This is sort of the basic, genuine one that I find very often. 50 bucks and I paid 10 for it. Good profit there. And it's actually gone to a repeat buyer who's also bought this camera. That's great. It means I'll be able to combine that shipping up and it'll be a lot cheaper for me. And it'll be great for them because they'll get both items at the same time. And that one sold for $35. A Kodak 255X Instamatic camera. Uh, a pair of shoes. Not doing as many shoes. That one sold for 40 bucks though, which is great. Uh, a Kindle here has sold for $110. Excellent. We have a, this is really cool. It's called a Garrett Pro Pointer. So if you've ever seen a metal detector before, after they actually use their big machine, they have to use a little pointer to actually get those little bits. I found this at a garage sale for 30 bucks and I've turned it into $100. So I'm happy with that. We also had um, Pilot Wings game, sell for 20. DS, uh, DS itself, not the DSi, I sold for $87. That had a little bit of uh, scratching, it was pretty bad to be honest. So uh, that one sold for 87 it's only down the bottom left. Uh, the buyer knows about it. I made sure to message them just in case they didn't see it, as it is quite bad. We also have a $20 game and a $45 game. Michael Jordan Chaos in the Wind City for SNES, for the SNES, and also Super International Cricket. They're also going to the same buyer. Um, hopefully, I go out your Super Nintendo collection there, my friend. We also have Banjo Kazooie, a uh, little figure here that's gone on for 35 bucks. Pokemon card here. And we've just had this sale come in now, $120 for this Canon EF 28-135mm to lens. That's great there. 10 bucks into it, and we sold it for $120. I believe I found that one at a pawn shop, and that is absolutely excellent to be able to get that. So over the last seven days, we have come out with $1,870. Really happy with that. Um, dollars and 70 cents, sorry. Uh, what I found is... Around 45 to 50% of this amount is how much I actually get after cost of goods, eBay, fees, postage, and tax. So when you take that, it's around $800 to $900. Don't know the exact number of 45%, but it's up there. And um, that's how much I'm actually um, profiting out of this. So I'm really happy with that. Obviously, there's still more things to take out of it, such as petrol. You've got um, your actual time, which is obviously worth money. And uh, I do spend a lot of time on this. So it's not just as straightforward as that being how much I take home. There is other things that go into it. But I'm still very happy with that number. Uh, I'm, I'm very also happy with the fact that I am able to keep going higher and higher with eBay, considering this time last year, my sales figure for that seven days was actually $300, which means we've gone up six times over a year, and I'm really, really happy with that. And I'm excited to what Q4 brings, as that's when sales generally increase, and I really hope to see a big jump from last year to this year. And uh, I'll be documenting that all here on the channel, so make sure to hit that sub button down below. Hit that notification bell to get notified. And um, so before we finish the video off, I thought I'd let you guys know I'll be down in Sydney from Thursday after this video to the Sunday, which means that um, if any of you guys happen to have any 
games, anything you've seen, actually just anything you've seen in this video, anything you think could be sold, I am very interested in coming down there and buying some stuff off people and bringing it up here to sell. I'm finding there's a bit less stuff down here and we're going down for a little um, thrift trip, pawn brokers, everything. And I'd love to be able to buy some stuff off some of you guys and uh, that'd just be amazing. Um, if you are interested in possibly letting me purchase some stuff off you, you can message me down below. Um, I'll leave my Instagram there. You can message me through there. Or you can also email me. I'll leave my email down below. Down below. Anything, um, any messages, any questions about it, please feel free to ask away. And um, also, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And that notification bell to get notified when videos come out. Comment down below what your favorite item was in this weekend, uh, in this video that sold, or your favorite item that you actually bought or sold this weekend. I really love to hear what you guys are getting on with with your reselling journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep up the hustle, and I'll see you guys next time.